John Cena versus Solo Sokoa. A lot to say here. John Cena, everyone, is a big, giant star. Like, one of the biggest mm. ever. Legit. And uh, the story has been on a losing streak. He just keeps putting guys over left and right. Well, and, that's that's the story. Yeah. And it is true that he has not won a singles match on television since 2018. Yeah. But that's because the vast majority of his matches on television have been multi-person matches, and he's won practically every last single one of them. Sure, sure. But they are they are telling a story that is true, but it's ridiculous. And if you would have seen the promo that this guy cut on SmackDown last week, where he essentially said, and the fans are just they're going crazy for this guy. They're chanting, you know, everything. Like, he's the greatest of all time. They treat him like he's... You know, the greatest wrestler in the history of everything. But he sits there and he explains, if I lose to Solo Sokoa, well, I don't think anyone's ever going to respect me again. (laughs) And then Paul Heyman comes out and he explains that, you know, John Cena may not be that great a wrestler anymore, but he is still the greatest promo of all time. But, you know, if Solo jams that thumb into his neck, why he may never speak again. That's right. And then, in the most baffling fucking thing I've seen in my whole fucking life, after building that up, Solo spiked him right there. <laughs> they gave it away. And then the next week on SmackDown, John Cena came out and could still talk. <laughs> now, granted, <laughs> granted, he had a raspy voice. Uh, I see. And they did the old, well, if he gets him this time... A film career is over. So that is what you must know going into this match yes. here. So during this match, and John Cena has one mission, and that is to do everything he can to help out this company and his opponent here. And he he knows how to put a match together. He laid out this very basic, very simple match, but it was a perfect formula. Uh, a <laughs> lot to say. Uh, Solo, they mentioned this. He's been in the main roster for nearly, barely a year. Barely a year. And... He still has some developing to do. I don't want to say he was exposed, but this is a long, long match. And by and large, he's got two counters. He can hit a super kick. He can get a Samoan drop. And when he's on offense, he's got two big moves he can build towards. He can do a hip attack in the corner, and he can hit and or tease that thumb to the throat. Maybe a urinagi in there. You're going 15 minutes, and it's just those same four things over and over. And over and over and over well, again. you're also wrestling a guy who has four things that he does over and over again. We had eight moves over 15 minutes repeated over and over again. But it was a good story. It was a, the story is very basic. Yeah, yeah very, John, very good. The, 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 John Cena playing Brian Danielson, small joint manipulation. He's playing Daniel Bryan. the thumb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. He was doing that, in fact, yeah. Yes. So... Cena got at least a fifth move. Jonathan Cena hit a choke slam in this match. Yeah, he did. I was blown away by that. So, Evans into Cena's comeback. He gets an STF. People's going crazy. And uh, because Cena was working over the thumb, Solo hits the spike for the first time, but it's selling his hand and can, can't, can't finish. And so he hits another spike. And another. And he poses. And hits a fourth. I'm like, okay, pin him. And he spikes him and spikes him and spikes him like eight more times. And finally wins. And mission accomplished, did what we're supposed to do, but we need... I don't know if Solo is ready for uh, the push he's getting. Well, this was very similar to that Jericho match with Hobbs, where Jericho put the guy over in virtually a squash match. That was more like that uh, John Cena-Brock Lesnar match. This one was they did a match, and they went back and forth, and John Cena, you know, gave it his best. But in the end, Solo was the better man. There was no interference. He beat him clean in the middle of the ring with his move 11 times. And uh, like Jericho, John Cena could not have put this guy over stronger. And if you watch other Solo Sokoa singles matches, he's, he's much better than he showed here. You know, you're doing John Cena. And John Cena has even said this himself. He has a match... That he is comfortable with. And everybody's going to do that match. And Austin Theory did that match at WrestleMania. And Solo Sokoa did that match here. And if you watch them, they're virtually exactly the same. It's John Cena's house show match. And it's only going to be so good. And what made this worthwhile 
was the fact that John Cena put this guy over so clean that they basically played it up like you might never see the guy wrestle again, which I think, of course, he will. But it was an excellent job getting Solo Sokoa over here. Well, I certainly hope after 11 spikes to the throat, he will be able to talk again because God knows he won't be able to call spots. My goodness, laying on his back, the camera's right in there on his face, and he's just screaming at the top of his lungs on what to do next. Um, I was echoing Brian. It's good to see, like, the, uh, I guess you can call Jericho and Cena uh, older guys in the business now, but, um, man, the end days of uh, WCW, the veterans weren't like this, that's for sure. No, no, God, no. No, and, and they were not, well, anyway. Uh, I do want to mention before we move on, Brian noted Michael Cole saying stupid stuff. Wade Barrett in this match says, you won't beat John Cena quickly. It has literally never happened. And there was that one match against The Undertaker. It was at <laughs> WrestleMania. He may have watched that one. It was short, and Cena lost. Rey Mysterio Jr. versus Logan Paul. Well, first we had Miz TV. Ugh. With Ibrahim Al-Hajjaj. Hmm. Who they said was the star of the biggest Saudi Arabian movie of all time. You didn't see this? I skipped this entirely. Yeah. I must have missed it. Well, it sucked. Miz is a baby face. Out comes Grayson Waller. Oh, I think you're talking about the movie. They get in a stupid argument. Ibrahim wants to fight. He gets booted. Miz hits a skull-crushing finale. Ibrahim hits the people's elbow, lays him out. I mean, it was uh, something for the Saudi Arabian fans. Okay. For everyone else on Earth... It was a bad segment where The Miz was playing babyface. Yeah, he got cheered in Saudi Arabia. That's impossible. Stop with this Miz babyface thing. Rey Mysterio Jr. versus Logan Paul. This was uh, this was good. Uh, they went back and forth for a while, and then Rey tried to body press, and Paul countered with uh, rolled through, hit a DVD to the corner, then a rolling fireman's carrying a big cabrata, and then it was time for a Logan Paul heat segment, which meant lots and lots of squeezing. He squeezed him, he squoze him, and squeezed him. Did the full Ultimate Warrior press slam splash spot. Then went back to the squeezing. And Ray makes his comeback, and I was stunned how little heat there was for Ray Mysterio Jr.'s comeback here. And they're going back and forth. And the part of this that went viral, Ray tries a uh, moonsault. It came up short. Uh. Logan came up, saved him big time, and caught him and saved the spot as well. Turned into a big body slam. Hit a moonsault body slam off the top rope for two. It's terrifying. So eventually, this guy gave uh, Logan Paul brass You mean, nuts. and I quote, this fool from Logan Paul's entourage? Well, there was also a this guy in there. Yes. He, he was never named. No, I have no idea who this guy was. No, hmm. no. But uh, he passes brass knucks to Logan. But, Which is uh, funny because as Eddie here mentions in the chat, they made it very clear over and over that Logan Paul has a titanium fist or something like that. Yeah. Like he's got a, an arm made out of metal like, or like, some Like shit. Lex Luger's elbow? Yeah, so what the fuck does he need brass knucks for? Hmm. I don't have an answer to that one. That's yeah, weird. Ti yeah, titanium is stronger than brass. Hmm. So uh, the knucks get knocked out of his hand. This guy goes after them, but is cut off by Santos Escobar. But as Santos is giving chase to this guy... He conveniently leaves the brass knuckle sitting in the apron. Conveniently. He mm -hmm. set them right there in yes. front of this guy. Yes. Yep. May, have, well, like, may as well have pointed to them and said, Logan, look. So Logan retrieves them, and Ray hits a 619, but when he tries to follow up, he runs right into a loaded punch. Logan Paul wins. Your new United States champion. Yeah. I thought it was a long TV match. Yeah, it was, uh, it was not like your normal Logan Paul match because... I don't know if Ray just didn't go down and, and uh, choreograph this with the guy, or they decided, you know, it's time the it's time you start just doing matches with uh, three hours notice or whatever, because you know this was a this was a traditional WWE style match, not a celebrity match where you script the entire thing from start to finish, and you know because of that there was. The Argentine backbreaker and the squeezing in the heat and that sort of thing. And, you know, Logan Paul, again, did an incredible job for having, I think it's at eight matches Eight now. matches now, yes. And uh, not only can he do all of the moves, but, you know, he's, he's good between the moves. Yes. He understands what to do when he's not doing moves. And more importantly than that, as noted, 
Like, he saved this guy's life once when shit was going awry. Usually in a match with a guy who's new, it's the veteran saving the new guy when shit goes awry. But uh, there was at least one time during this match, which was the, uh, the Quebrada, where Logan totally saved this guy's life when things were going awry. And there were a couple of other things as well that they weren't smooth, but, like, he held it together. So uh, he's, uh, like, every match he's better. I don't know how. I mean, I guess you should get better every match, but we're talking, like, from uh, match seven to match eight. Yeah. That's, like, a big improvement over eight matches. But uh, he's a champion now, and they made it very clear during the match, like, he'll talk about it on his show, and he'll be carrying the belt everywhere, and it's all about getting publicity for WWE, which is smart. And uh, it was a good match. That's actually a very good match. They showed uh, Logan Paul in the desert, and he was in a dune buggy, a souped-up dune buggy. I don't know what else to call it. And he drove this dune buggy from the desert to the streets of Saudi Arabia, where, by the way, there was no traffic. There was no traffic, because this is good, because just as he drove straight to the building and straight to the back door, they opened up the back door, and he drove from the back door straight onto the ramp, it couldn't have been timed any better. You know, it just, uh, it was a good thing there was there was no traffic and he was able to make it to his match on time. Well, he's a superstar. Sean here says, the only thing I don't like about it is Logan isn't a weekly TV character, doesn't perform at every pay-per-view. Well, actually, he has been a weekly TV character. He was on, like, every TV over the last month, and I presume he's going to be working pretty regularly from this point uh, forward. I, I don't think he's going to disappear before until... Well, to be Survivor Series isn't that far away, but he'll be around. I'm pretty sure he'll be around. Yeah, he's not He's not training for a fight or anything like that right now. Does he not work matches on TV? Uh, he'll probably be doing some TV matches. No, I said, has he done matches? I don't remember. TV? There's been eight. It's probably That's the only pay-per-view. Okay. Hey, guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button, and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show. All of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.